Good morning, dear students. Today, we are going to recite and explain the poem, The Duck and the Kangaroo, written by Edward Lear. The central idea of the poem is, this poem by Edward Lear is a humorous and interesting poem. The poem describes the friendship of a duck and a kangaroo. The duck lived in a pond and was bored of his life. He wanted to take a round of his entire world, but was not able to do so. He was quite impressed with the hopping ability of the kangaroo and pleaded to him for a ride round the world. With some conditions, the kangaroo agreed to the proposal of the duck and allowed him a ride on his back. This way, the duck fulfilled his wish. The poem conveys the message of a true friendship and generosity. The poem is personified and it appeals to the human beings that they too should be cooperative and helpful to one another in life. So, let's start the poem. Said the duck to the kangaroo, Good gracious, how you hop over the fields and the water too, as if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Nasty means unpleasant and bad. Now the duck is awestruck to see the movement of the kangaroo. It impressed that the kangaroo could hop continuously over the fields and water bodies. The duck's life was boring as it remained in the pond and wishes that it could also hop like a kangaroo. Please give me a ride on your back, said the duck to the kangaroo. I would sit quite still and say nothing but quack the whole of the long day through. And we would go to the dee and the jelly bully over the land and over the sea. Please take me a ride, oh do, said the duck to the kangaroo. Now the duck requests the kangaroo to give it a ride on its back. It promised that it would sit quietly and was just quack all day. The duck lists the places that they would visit as tea and jelly bully. It adds that they would hop over the land and the sea. Said the kangaroo to the duck, this requires. Said kangaroo to the duck, this requires some little reflection. Perhaps on the whole it might bring me luck. And there seems but one objection, which is, if you will let me speak so bold, your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold and would probably give me the rheumatis, said the kangaroo. Rheumatis refers to the disease of rheumatism. Now, here, the kangaroo replied that it had to think over it. The idea could be good for him, but he had an objection that the duck's weight and cold feet could give it body pains. Said the duck, as I sat on the rocks, I have thought over that completely, and I bought four pairs of worst, uh, worsted socks, which fit my wet feet neatly. And to keep out the cold, I have bought a cloak, and every day a cigar I will smoke, all to follow my own dear true love of a kangaroo. Now the duck said, that as it sat on the rocks during the day, it had thought over it in order to avoid that. The duck had bought four pairs of worsted socks which fitted its whip and shaped feet well. Now in order to stay warm, it would wear a shrug and also smoke a cigar every day. Now the duck would do all this is to protect the kangaroo as it was a beloved. Now the last stanza said the kangaroo, I am ready. All in the moonlight pale, but to balance me well, dear, duck sit steady and quiet at the end of my tail. So away they went with a hop and a bound, and they hopped the whole world three times round. And who so happy, oh who, as the duck and the kangaroo? Now the kangaroo was satisfied with the duck's response and got ready for the ride. Now at night when the sky was filled with the pale light of the moon, 
they started their trip with a hop now the kangaroo asked the duck to hold it firmly as they traveled around the world three times both of them enjoyed each other's company now the literary devices that we are having in the poem is rhyme scheme so the rhyme scheme is a b a b c c a a this is the rhyming scheme of stanza 1 stanza 2 a b a b c c b b and stanza 3 4 5 we have the rhyming schemes a b a b c c d d second is alliteration the repetition of a consonant sound as the start of the two or more closely placed words like good gracious g then how you hop h sit quite still and say s but to balance b dear duck d whole world w dear students i hope you like the poem and the explanation part please go through once again have a nice day ahead